Hey everyone, this is Walter, and I'm back here to read you some more posts and stories from Reddit. As we often are, we're back here to talk about nice guys once again. Nice guys are men who make it the point of their existence to go on about how nice they are, and how they deserve women more than the attractive assholes or whatever. You'll see if you don't already know, so let's just begin with nice guys from Reddit. These posts come to us from Reddit nice guys. I can't stand it when women ignore me. I'm so goddamn pissed off right now. I've tried messaging this Instagram model on her Instagram, and I've tried commenting on her social media, but she never fucking responds. I can tell you I don't like it when people track down my Facebook. I can only imagine these Instagram models love it when guys like Russell Greer come after them. She wouldn't even let me follow her Insta. I can't stand her anymore. She also has stated that she'll never do porn content or anything like that. Somehow there is a leaked picture of her with her ass with no panties, but I have no idea who leaked that. Maybe an ex-boyfriend. She always complains on social media about guys using her and leaving her. It's probably because she only picks asshole guys that she thinks are hot like most women. If she actually gave me a chance, that wouldn't happen, but she's too busy letting these asshole bad boys nut on her face. Honestly, I'm not even sad for her. That's her fault. Fuck her. He's literally messaging Insta models, but they're superficial for dating hot guys. He's pretty lazy, too. Russell Greer at least wrote a song for the model he was after. It's hilarious. Check it out sometime. Women are attracted to a-holes. A-holes cheat. Women disregard respectful young men because they're too nice. Whether the reason is they feel they don't deserve the man of chivalry, or they simply prefer a-holes and being constantly degraded and cheated on to feel victimized, they put themselves in those situations with the worst of the worst men, thinking they can fix their toxic relationship or whatever. I feel the same way, which is why I will remain single until my time is up because no woman values loyalty or chivalry more than they value sex. This guy's like, hey, I may suck at sex, but I can show you so much chivalry, whatever that means. I have so much loyalty, it'll make your knees shake. He doesn't do a very good job of selling himself. Like, not cheating on someone isn't exactly all it takes for a relationship. I haven't gotten to hook up with any women yet. I haven't been this goddamn pissed in my life. I was on the subreddit for dating apps. I saw a bunch of screenshots of guys using pickup lines, and it was working. One guy said the difference between you and sunglasses is that sunglasses sit higher on my face. He got the girl's number. Check this out. Women in the comments were like, he could break my ass and I'd be satisfied. Oh god, that makes me so mad. I just try to be respectful and ask women if they like Harry Potter or want coffee and they call me a creep. I need to be so handsome and smooth that women beg me to fuck their throat until they gag and then tell me thank you afterwards. If I could get on that level, I'd be in business. Anyways, that shit will never happen, because I broke rule number one. Be attractive. Fuck life and fuck dating. Excuse me, I'm going to masturbate and then throw my phone against the wall. That line won't work for me, but I'm still going to use it one time, just because I've got nothing to lose. TLDR, some guys are so damn lucky it pisses me off. How about, good morrow, fair maiden, wouldst thou have an inclination towards a tale of a juvenile mage? Yeah, I know I always tell girls I'm Slytherin within a few seconds of meeting them. Then they slither away. Must be because I'm ugly. Five symptoms of nice guy syndrome. One, he never asks for help. Two, he's got a good heart and steady income, but can't attract the women he likes. Three, the women he does like just want to be friends or aren't looking for a relationship right now. Four, he fantasizes about how things could be. Five, he attracts cheaters, manipulators, and liars. Comment king if you're tired of being the nice guy and ready for a change. Yeah, sure does sound like he just described a king, right? Here's another long one, about a date. I found a girl online and we started discussing a date. I asked her if she expected the guy to pay and she ghosted me. So I found her on Instagram, watched her story and then asked if she would let me take her out for dinner. She agreed. The prices were expensive and I complained and she looked concerned that I was complaining, so I lied and just told her I was happy to pay the whole thing the first time. She was really pretty and we kissed at the end of the date. I asked her to meet again, but this time I just said meet and she suggested the place. She has no car also, so I had to drive 15 minutes to see her. When the check came, she looked at me and asked me if I would get it. I said no, and explained how I believe in equality. Again, this was our second date, and I had paid the first. She started crying. Her excuse for crying? She said me not paying made her feel like she wasn't worth it, whatever that means. She also said this has never happened to her before, and I just shrugged. She then asked if it was because I didn't have enough money, and I told her no, it was simply the principle of equality. She gave me a snobby look, and then I explained that I have lots of other women that are into me. I also threatened to get up and leave. 
So the waitress came and we both put our cards in. I rightfully locked my card beforehand so that her card would get charged for the whole thing. When she found out that her card was charged for the whole meal, this girl was furious at me for no reason. Again, I just wanted equality and had paid for everything the first time. Personally, I think it's better if you both pay, but this guy is so full of shit. He says he wants equality, but from my point of view, he specifically picked this girl out because she made it clear she doesn't want to pay for anything. And then he spent his own money and time doing this just to spite her. Also, she really cried in public to get a mostly stranger to pay for her food. She might have problems too. I was even a gentleman and walked her home to her house down the street, but she just huffed and puffed and rejected me when I asked to put my arms around her. I told her I had to go to the bathroom, so she said, fine, go, angrily, and then after I went, I took off my shoes and she said, did I say you were staying? Then she kicked me out. I asked her if she would at least come out in the driveway to talk about it, but she refused. I even texted her a week later, saying how cute and interesting I thought she was, and that I was hoping we could kiss a bit for the second date. She has just completely ghosted me, all because I simply stood up for myself and advocated equality. Honestly, I had something similar. Same thing, like second or third date, I really wasn't feeling it. And we just didn't have all that much in common. I let him pick me up and he dropped me off at home. While I was hoping the dropping off at home would be that, he walked me to my door, I did an awkward side hug and unlocked it. This dude opened my door, went into my living room, turned on my Xbox to play Forza. I was baffled. He texted me after he left that he was catching feelings, and I was like, Mmm, yeah, no. No feelings here, bud. A commenter says, Getting into a girl's apartment and just not leaving is a tactic that pickup artists try. I don't really like being in places where people don't want me most of the time. Women have told us over and over, repeatedly, that they want a bad boy, and have shown that they gravitate to awful, horrible men. These guys? They're getting a response, and I bet they are turning it around and manipulating it into something and women will keep believing it. I am a prefect gentleman and I get zero responses, so there you go. Good men are being shown and told that they need to act like a-holes to get women's attention. So should I switch to that? Probably. I can't though. I have too much respect for women and too much respect for myself. So I will just continue being respectful and getting no messages back. Yeah, I know women constantly tell me how they want a bad boy. There's only two types of men by the way, piece of shit bad boys and perfect gentlemen. We're dealing in absolutes here. I speak for all my guys when I say this. I see so many stories from girls saying, need me one of the good ones, or where are the good ones at? Well, the good ones you're looking for are right in front of you. We try and talk to you, but you end up turning the other way because we were too nice. First of all, it's called being respectful, but most of you girls wouldn't understand that since y'all like being cheated on and getting treated like trash. Apparently in today's world, no one likes a genuinely nice guy anymore. I'm not trying to be rude, but there are so many good ones out there, but you can't see them when they are standing right in front of you. So I ask all you girls, how are you going to find a good one when all you do is push them away every time they try and talk to you? I like how the last post was complaining about how women say they want bad boys, and this one is about them saying they want a good one. Women pretty much just can't talk at all to these guys. Next is another young man who thinks he was born in the wrong era. I hate dating nowadays, and my best friend doesn't understand. I fucking hate this new generation of dating. I want something genuine, and all girls want is something too casual. I have very good values, and want a beautiful girl to get married to and have kids with, no question about it. I fucking hate hookup culture. Whenever I find a girl, she just wants to fuck, and if not that, I'm just an option. They throw away the nice guys, and like the bad and attractive boys that treat them like fucking shit. The nice ugly boys get no chances, and for what? I'm a gentle, nice guy and try to win them over, but fuck me, right? Go to the toxic guys, then. Girls love to run to the guy that abuses them and not sweet guys like me. I told my best friend and she told me I need to find someone who wants me for me, but I know she's a girl, so she's defending this toxic behavior. How is it toxic if someone wants to date casually? Sounds like their choice to me. I wanted this girl and she said she wanted me, but also wanted this other guy and wanted to have sex with him. First of all, I thought she had better values than sex without being in a relationship, but I can let that slide. Second of all, she just put me to the side. Fuck this. I fucking hate girls with big egos slash city girls. Always too much confidence for their own good. Green Day literally said nice guys finish last, so at least I have them as my inspiration. Anyway, thanks for reading. That Green Day song is mocking nice guys, not supporting them. This guy also straight up called the nice guys ugly instead of sugarcoating it. 
Arguing with a woman will really get you nowhere. Women use emotions, and men use logic and reason. So when logic and emotions clash, logic becomes irrelevant, and we always lose. However correct you are, you are still wrong because you will trigger her emotions, and she will get mad however wrong she is. The problem with this is, when you stop talking, stop giving your comments, your points and opinions, then they will get angry and say you suck at conversations, and accuse you of something you are not doing. When you care, they get mad and will be distant. When you stop caring, they will get angry and blame you for not being attentive and caring. Fucking insane shit. Yeah, I guess all women are pretty much the same person. None of them use logic or anything, right? Nothing says I'm super logical like a rambling whiny rant. Okay, one more post and then we'll call it a day. I have came to conclusion that there is no more good girls left in this world we live in. They always want something different, no matter if it's money, sex, or drugs. Or of course they always want someone else, because they get what they want from you and leave. Meanwhile, us guys are trying our hardest and get nowhere. All the girls we talk to is your cover, because we know you're going to leave, and then we work our ass off, waking up at 5, pounding monsters and Red Bulls to keep going. Lovely. Hey, not all men work hard. You also have slackers like me. Well anyway, that's about all the time I have for you today. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like. If you have something to say, I sure hope you let me hear it in the comments, because I do read those for recent videos. If you're new here and want more, consider subscribing, because I do upload sometimes. Not nearly enough. Thanks also to my awesome patrons. They help me out more directly with support, and it's indispensable. I'll shout them out by name in the next video, probably tomorrow, but I just have to get this uploaded now. Have a great night, everyone, and make sure you don't argue with any women. They only know emotion, and men only know logic.